Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm John and I broke DaVinci Resolve, but I have a fix for you in today's video where we're going to go through what I was experiencing and what I did to solve it. And it's a pretty quick one, but uh, hopefully if you're having trouble like I am with audio glitches, you read the title, um, then I've got the solution for you. So let's dig into Resolve and get started. And grab your earmuffs too. You're gonna need them. All right, here we go. Okay, so we are in Resolve and I have set up a test project. And yeah, we're gonna be throttling your renders as the title says. But first, let me play through two clips that show what I'm talking about. And I've put blue markers where the two uh, glitches were, and then we'll get back into it. I am John. I am the number one purveyor of Harley and motorcycle and DaVinci Resolve content on YouTube. That clip not verified by the FDA or anybody else, but take my word for it. I'm kind of awesome. You get gas from being a YouTube content creator. Did you hear that? Where the two markers showed up, guess what? There were some glitches in the audio. Go figure. And no matter how many times I tried to render it, I still had this problem. Now, recently I switched from the free version of Resolve to the studio paid version, and that's when this popped up. But I did notice it um, previously in the free version. So I think it has to do with too much CPU usage combined with a uh, VST plugin. And I even had a couple of glitches before I was using Alex Audio Butler. So I don't blame it that. I don't blame Alex Audio Butler. And in the research I did, I noticed that, oh God, it was archived. And I'll try to dig up a link and post it down below. But it was old. And apparently this is an issue that plagues people. So uh, the solution is coming up. Let's go back into Resolve. What I found was, that you need to throttle your render. So when we go to the deliver page over here, we're just gonna use custom or whatever, but you go over to file and then render speed. And you see, I have mine set to 50. With the paid version of Resolve, I could see as high as 180 frames a second of rendering speed, which would be maximum. Uh, but set it to 50 and that seems to play real nice. And it doesn't matter if you're using the NVIDIA encoder or native, you can still go in and throttle your render speed here and job done. So once you throttle your render speed, your audio will come out perfect again. Don't know why it does it, but that's what it does. And hey, if this video helped you, leave it a like and uh, consider subscribing. I do DaVinci Resolve for Motor Vlogger stuff infrequently, but mostly I do moto vlogs. But anyway, until I see you again, have a great day.